Federal High Court orders police to vacate Rivers 33 Local Government Council Secretariat. Exactly. Thank God they've taken this matter to court. This is uncalled for. They should watch and just let them just have a boot inside the premises to ensure that, uh, you know, there's law and order. So that if there's any trouble, any violence, they can arrest the violence, but not blocking everybody from entering the premises. That is crazy. That is um, IG of police and the state commission of police overstepping their bounds. Okay, so now that the Federal High Court in Port Harcourt has issued an ex party order for them to vacate the premises, let's see what they will do. A Federal High Court sitting in Port Harcourt, River State, has taken decisive action in a legal dispute that has significant implications for the governance of local government areas in the state. The court presided over by Justice Mohammed Turaki issued an ex party order allowing um, the service of court documents on the River State Commission of Police through the officer in charge legal um, state criminal investigation department River State, this order is a key development in a suit filed by the Initiative for Transparency, Strategy, and Good Leadership, which seeks legal redress against several high-profile defendants, including the Inspector General of Police, the Commissioner of Police in River State, and the Attorney General of the Federation. So the court's decision to grant this order was driven by the pressing need to address the ongoing presence of police personnel at the entrances of the local government council secretariat across the three local government areas in the river state. So the initiative for transparency, strategy, and good leadership is seeking a court order compelling the police to vacate these premises to allow for the resumption of normal business activities within the local government councils. This situation has become a source of concern for many as the continuous police presence has disrupted the functioning of local governments, affecting the delivery of essential services to the public. Exactly. So according to reports from the Daily Post, the court also granted an ex party order permitting the service of court documents on other key defendants, including the Attorney General of River State, the Governor of Simnalaya Fubara, and the Head of Service. These documents are to be delivered through substituted means, specifically by delivering them to the Office of the Attorney General. The court has, um, okay, delivering them to the Office of the Attorney General. So the court has mandated that these defendants appear before it to explain why the ex party order will demand the withdrawal of police from the local government council entrances should not be made permanent. Okay, so why that withdrawal of the police should not be made permanent? So the suit has drawn consideration, considerable attention with numerous stakeholders keenly watching the proceedings. So in a related development, two individuals, N.O. Onyiloku and uh, Clarissa C. Chibuke have sought to join the suit as parties representing 21 former local government chairmen. These former chairmen, uh, represented by claimant Joshua Rufus, a native of River State, are also advocating for the removal of police personnel from the council secretariat. They argue that the continued police presence is not only unnecessary but also a violation of the autonomy of local government as enshrined in the Nigerian constitution. So Justice Toraki, after considering the submissions of the parties involved, granted the application and adjourned the case to September 2nd, 2024 for a further hearing. Okay, for a further hearing. So this ruling underscores the court's commitment to ensuring that the rule of law is upheld and that the autonomy of local government councils is respected. So the court's intention is seen as a critical step in resolving the ongoing standoff between the police and the local government officials in reverse. So in conclusion, Federal High Court's recent orders represent a pivotal 
moment in the ongoing legal battle over the presence of police at the local government council secretariat in River State. The case highlights the tension that can arise between different levels of government and the critical role that the judiciary plays in resolving such a dispute. As the court prepares to continue hearing the case, all eyes will be on the outcome and its potential impact on governance in Nigeria. Well, it's good that this has happened anyway. Very, very good that it has happened. So the police should not continue to uh, stay there disrupting the activities of the local government. I know that if the the local government chairman that their tenors have expired, all of those are looking for a way to have access to go and disrupt the local government and take away documents and scatter things. That's what they're looking for. Why, on the other hand, the critical committee chairman are also looking for a way to go to zone work and do their work. So there is potential clash between those local government chairmen and their supporters and the new critical committee chairmen and their supporters as well. This is going to be pro Mwiki versus pro Fubara group now that are likely to act clash in almost all of the local government secretariat and that is what the police should look out for keep your tents inside the premises and watch anytime there's disruption you arrest the situation that is what they should do and not blocking the entrance completely okay nigerian police should tell the world their interest in river state blocking council secretariats because of one man interest in democracy that's very bad Eh? Police now too low for citizens' respect. Of course, they are supporting Wiki. Our police is a shame to the world, and that is true. Shameless Wiki's police. Fake news. It's not a fake news. Eh? Thank God, please, police, leave. <laughs> Good news. IGP should act fast and remove these men from the gates of the entire local government urgently and without further delay okay please when was the order given please writer be disciplined and align yourself to the ma- to the main issue of service thanks and god bless what do you mean the guy has given you information you are saying when was the order issued if you don't know you don't know go and find out go and verify for yourself okay so that is what is happening now the police I mean, the, the Federal High Court in Port Harcourt has issued that uh, ex party order ordering the police to leave the gates of the local government secretariat. At the same time, inviting the IGP, the Commission of Police, and uh, some key persons, key defendants in that uh, file to come and explain why the removal of the police should not be made permanent. That is it. So let them, we are waiting for that update, let them go and respond for themselves. So thank you for listening and let's have your comments.